in talks with Dave at the moment, I want to ask him a question. Um, Dave, we've talked privately about what is your dreams. Do you want to share with us uh, what is your dream? My ultimate dream is to make the best healing retreat for supervised fasts. So I want the clients to be able to come to a really beautiful place for a healing retreat and have all kinds of therapies there that, and for supervised fasting. So you do a group fast, like, I don't know, 10, 20 people. We, all, we decide to do a group fast and we're going to fast together. Because fasting on your own is hard. Yeah. But if you're together with like-minded, you encourage each other. You go through, oh, I really want to break my fast, I want to eat. No, come on, you strengthen each other. Yeah. And what I want to build is a pit greenhouse. Okay, so it's a, it's a big pit with a perspex roof or glass roof. Yeah. So the sun comes in. And inside, I want to build hexagon sleeping pods. Right. And it will look like a frame from a beehive. Oh, yeah. Everybody sleeps in their own pod. Yeah. And you're actually sleeping inside the beehive because I want real bees. My dad's got all these beehives there. Yeah. So I want everyone to have their own beehive. The bees cannot touch you. So you're sleeping inside a beehive. I've told you about bee yeah. therapy. It's yeah. not my idea. The guy did it in Ukraine. So the, the bees don't touch you, but you get the benefits of the bees. So many benefits to it. Without them touching yeah. you. That's amazing. How it started. It's a bit like a bondage. You it is. It's it, the same. Right? Yeah. yeah. So this guy was a beekeeper in Ukraine. His wife had stage five cancer. Was re- cancer spread everywhere. Yeah. And they gave her a week. It's everywhere, you know. You've got a couple of weeks to live. Mm. And she loved going out beekeeping with her husband. And she said, whenever I'm with the bees, I feel better. So he said, look, I'm going to make you a bed on the beehive in your bee suit so they can't sting you. Yeah. And she felt better. And she's still alive today. And, it's, and so his so idea is... What spread. do they do to the, the bees? So there's four different aspects, okay? Mm. Let us sleep on bees. Sleep Mine, on. some people say sleep on bees. Mine is sleep inside the beehive. Sleep inside. You sleep inside. And I've got four colonies of bees. Yeah. And you're talking about tens of thousands of bees centimetres away from you. But they cannot touch you. They can't. They cannot sting you. Yeah. Because like, I can't sleep inside a beehive. So there's a container there. separating them from you. It's a very small mesh. Very small, small mesh. Small mesh, yeah. Now, mainly it's a micro-massage. You can feel it. Have you seen, there's a lot, in Japan you can get these electro yeah. massage places with it vibrating and you're sitting on it. Yeah. And it, it's quite good for you. But you've got negative, non-native EMFs. If it's plug it into electricity, this is native EMFs. You've got this vibro massage yeah. and it resets all your systems, your blood pressure, everything. Mm-hmm. People with too high blood pressure, it comes down. So if it's too low, it corrects up. massaging you, is that correct? Well, the bees are all buzzing. They're all... They're creating energy. That's fun. They're all moving. Yeah. And that energy, you can, it's a vibration. You oh, can right. feel it. Oh, right. I see. Now, yeah. with a temperature, say if the beehive is too cold, mm. they all work together, tens of thousands of bees, to increase... They, all, they create heat by flapping their wings. Yeah. And the males direct their wings to put the hot air and they warm it up. Mm-hmm. If it's too cold, they can do it, they can cool it down and they, and they put cold air through the hive. It's incredible how they work. Oh, so that's the first yeah. aspect, yeah. the micro-massage. Yeah. The second aspect is the frequency. Hmm. Now, you know frequency is a big subject. There's all kinds of frequency that people are just learning about it now. And the, the, the natural frequency from tens of thousands of bees, yeah. this is what has such an effect on the body. Yeah. This is why it cured their cancer. Yeah. Be very careful they were cured, but this lady is still alive. The sound of the bees humming. I know cats. Purring. Sound is the third one. Oh, yes. Sound the sound is <laughs> sound. Jesus. frequency is yeah. different to sound. Right. I see. Frequency is invisible. Yeah. Sound you can actually hear. You, you know, sound is something you can recognise. Yeah. Now some people listen to. There's a YouTube video you can get. The sound of a beehive play for eight hours and they play it and they have a really good night's sleep. It's like white noise, isn't it? Yeah. The white noise. But this electronic sound is not good for you. If you've got the real sound of tens of thousands of bees, yeah. you have such a deep sleep. Tens of thousands of bees? Literally, you're, you're centimetres away from tens of thousands of bees, four different hives. And um, not to make demos <laughs> of I guess, uh, how would you, um, are they happy? Are the bees doing some kind Very of happy whilst they're doing it? Yeah, are they working? Yeah. They're going, they're creating their honey, they're getting nectar, oh, so pollen, they're, their they're working. Yeah, the you've got the worker bees, you've got the queen, you've yeah. got the females, the males. Yeah. The, the brood, it's, they're very happy. Okay. So that's three aspects. Okay. You've got the vibration, yeah. frequency. the frequency, the sound, sound what you can hear, your sound. Yeah. And the final one, which is the most important, is what you're, you're breathing in. This is the best quality air. You're breathing in air from the beehive, from the colony. Right. You're the aroma, what you're breathing in. Oh, you're okay. producing you're, quality air. Incredibly, the quality air. Right. And you're actually breathing in, because we'll all be fasting. Everyone, you won't be eating anything. Yeah. But you're breathing into your lungs, nectar, Pollen, really? propolis. Yeah. Do you know what propolis is? Oh, it's a bee thing. I don't know. Propolis really. is amazing stuff. Yeah. If um some predator invades a beehive trying to get honey, it could be a mouse and little uh, something comes in to steal honey. Mm. The warrior bees will come and try and kill it. Sometimes they win. If they lose, 
they might lose the right. hive. But if they can kill it, the warrior bees will kill it, mm. and they've got this dead carcass inside the hive now. Right. They cocoon it in propolis. Yeah. And it's amazing stuff because it yeah. will, it's antibacterial and it keeps all the honey clean. Huh. This is what propolis is. Huh. And it's amazing stuff. So, and you're reading so it comes the enemy that they just kill. Yeah. And they eat the enemy. They eat no, they don't. It, the propolis will completely cocoon it and it will slowly just degrade inside. And oh, so it's a safety thing, so that it's stench yeah. in the... Tr- keeps it sterile, yeah. yeah. Sterile. And so you're breathing in propolis. Oh. The pollen, the nectar, the honey, the, pro- the bees, Bloody the Greek beeswax. Yeah. Now this air, and also there's something that we don't understand, but yeah. the quality of the air inside the beehive, yeah. they know if it's something toxic, they will get rid of it. And they, they create the best quality air. Interesting. Like, that must be the negative ions. You know when you buy a waterfall, you yeah. buy the sea, with that air is such good quality. Yeah. Well, the air from inside a beehive is incredible. I'm just thinking out loud that maybe one possibility is the mm. kinetic energy of the yeah. wings flapping, yeah, yeah. a movement well, of creating... That's the vibration. Energy. You're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it goes deeper, like you said, yeah. creating a specific environment, of healing environment yeah. for themselves, um, but then it's for us because we're getting yeah. into that environment. That's amazing. Has this been done before? Yeah, it's not my idea. Done in Ukraine. They've done it in America, South America. In Japan, someone's got really into it. There's yeah. a brilliant healing retreat in Japan yeah. where you can sleep inside a beehive. And when I saw that, I want to do this in the UK. Us, yeah. As far as I know, no one's doing it in the UK. Right. So I want to be the first one. That would be the first thing. Yeah. Every night, everybody will sleep inside. We'll all sleep inside a beehive together. Yeah. We'll all sleep inside. But I want to have other healing modalities. I mean, sure. we, we want to try float pods. You know, aged in baths. Yeah, aged in bath, like in the ground, Absolutely. grounded. Yeah, grounded. I want to have a hot oh, tub there. Like digging people in the holes. Already yeah, in the holes well, or a steel well, bath, a, a metal iron cast iron bath yeah. is grounded, filled with aged iron in the sun. Oh God, perfect by the sea. But I want to do a big hot tub, Harry. I mean, <laughs> I had a brilliant experience here in this big hot tub. It was um, and heated by a fire underneath. It was all natural, yeah. natural rainwater heated with a fire. Yeah. And what we all did, we all got a bit drunk, and. We created a vortex because we we were all it was quite a big hot tub and yeah. we were let's try and let's try and make a whirlpool you know everyone does that yeah. come on everyone you start running through the water everyone going around and we and we made this vortex and then you just put your feet off the bottom and then just you all float around you know oh, cool. I tell you what, this is strong stuff oh, oh right. <laughs> I can feel it this is this the is zero the yeah, root, exactly. root zero yeah. oh I was gonna say that and the vortex is linked in with our one yeah yeah because definitely. this is basically vortex water the yeah. structure is a vortex. And it, this vortex gets more powerful every day, like the age urine. Yeah. It's all about vortexes. And you brought up an interesting thing with a video. You said, um, what was it, on the urine, the evil ones you made with the tornadoes. These are all... Yeah, that's a natural vortex. Natural vortex. A whirlpool, any whirlpool. Healing vortexes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe it's, um, thermal spring waters are vortexes. I don't well, know. That is what structured water is. Yeah. So you can 3D print a vortex machine mm. and you can spin the water and you make structured water like that. Yeah. But you can do it much better with this. And as well as that, you're adding the energize yeah. and you're getting the information. It's a water information transfer service. That's why this would be better than a water than a vortex machine. Yeah, also, but it's the ultimate one. It's so worth the money. So, what other therapies, Harry? If you're going to make this mm-hmm. treat retreat, yeah, we talked about um, the cold therapy with liquid ice. We do liquid oh, cryotherapy. Nitrogen, I think cryotherapy. I didn't figure that for. See, that is expensive, tank. but I'd love to get set up for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorda, infrared sorda, infrared sorda, infrared sorda. Yeah. Um, oh, things that the, that can give you fever. Well, I don't know what they're called. Those blanket things that you can yeah. get, straight away you get a fever. We'd That's have good. A, a nebulizers of aged orange. I think Matt's talked about that. Yeah, nebulizers. Yeah. Um, God, yeah, there's loads. Oh, yeah, sweat lodge. I'd like to have a sweat lodge there. Yeah, That'd be similar to the so powerful. sauna. Yeah, that's right. Well, I think it's more powerful than yeah, the sauna. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll really go to town with that one. There's loads of ideas that... I mean, um, that would all work well. If you're doing like a couple of week fast or even a month fast, you know, some people do like 40 day, 50 day fast. And if you, when it gets really hard, if you've got all these therapies... Yeah, to make your life easier. And I want it every day, everyone, when it gets hard, we'll go to the beach and lay on the beaches and go for a swim, grounding, Good air, negative ions, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's the best environment. And like you said last week, uh, that it's easier to do it with people in an environment where everyone's doing the same thing. It makes it a lot easier versus by yourself at home because even I don't have the willpower sometimes to do. Fasting is hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You hit the wall and I've got to break my, I've got to eat. Yeah. And if you just, and yeah. it feels so terrible. If you break your fast, I wish I'd gone longer. And if you're in a group together and you've got all these yeah, therapies, let's do it. Yeah. You, let's do the it. Excitement let's do it. Yeah. Of the, and the elevation of consciousness. Yeah. And yeah. especially, we well. just talked about all these powerful therapies whilst fasted, which is going to be very powerful. Yeah. It's powerful by itself when you're not fasted, but during fasting, my God. Yeah, so cool. I've got one sleep inside a beehive pod, all built. Yeah, but yeah, it's just what, one person. Oh. Yeah, it's in my survival retreat. Oh, right. But the, I want to make you it... You've tried it, and is it... Yeah, yeah, loads of people have tried it. It's really good. And you feel yeah. the difference? Yeah, definitely. Oh, you can feel oh, all four it. therapies. Oh, but I want to make a multiple one where we can all sleep inside this frame 
Yeah. We all, that'd be brilliant. I mean, you and I, everyone well, pod together. I'd say stay tuned because I think uh, this is something potentially after we keep us, we're going to keep ourselves focused on the main things. But I think these are things that are good to talk about because down the line we'll do something together. Have the first uh, beehive therapy and many other things in the UK would be amazing. So, yeah. And one more thing bee yeah. sting therapy. Bee Benning, have you ever heard of that? Oh, quickly, yeah. In South America. I've heard of it. I don't so, do it. say somebody, <laughs> yeah. no, I'll do it. You'll like, do it yeah. Someone who has really bad arthritis in their knees, right? They, the, you take the one bee yeah. and you sting wherever the pain is in your knee. And you, you get the sting from the bee, it's a small amount of pain for a couple of hours yeah. and it will swell up. But then you've got months of no arthritis. And would you not? Re- oh, that's amazing. It would you, works. Would you not yeah. recommend Asia and take the pain away with that? Reduce? Yeah, definitely. No, oh, would definitely. It would still not ruin it. Externally and oh no. Okay, okay so oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I do believe because it's got the antidote to the poison. I mean, the poison is the antidote. Yeah. Right, to the disease you've got. You get an immune response. You fight off that. And it fights off other things, you know. Right. A bit that's, like fever creates yeah. an immune response. It creates yeah. increased disease. That's fascinating. Bee venom therapy. I love it. This has been great. I love the information. We've got along here. So thanks, sir. Well done. Day. Cheers.